Now, the people of Mensa, Guinea have been rendered homeless after the Accra Metropolitan Assembly demolition exercise on Friday. The people were given a three-day notice to move their properties from the community. Solomon Jojo Kobina reports that residents fear the AMA security force would visit them at dawn again and complete the exercise. Many women and children sleep out in the open and exposed to the vigorous, horrific vigorous of the weather. For many years, Mensa Guinea, a slum behind the art center, had been home to many families. Many of the residents have to find another place to live now because city authorities had demolished their structures. The people were given three days to remove their property because the community had recorded many cholera cases. So the Accra mayor's solution to the insanitary conditions in the community was to bulldoze the building stand. We set out at 9 p.m. to tell the story of the people of Mesa, Guinea. Some were already moving out their items. So we walked up through the community to find out how the people were living their lives after the demolition. Three days Many of the people looked pensive and worried. Some were tired, and others were resting for the day. On tables, chairs, and on any surface they could find comfortable. Mothers had their babies strapped at their back while resting. Some were just hanging in there, trying to put body and soul together. This woman says she cannot afford rent because she had spent all her money buying books and paying the fees of her only son, who is now in the senior high school. The woman said they have nowhere to go, pleading government should give them more time so they adequately plan and move out. This side of Mensa Guinea looks busy and bustling. So many of these people are seated here and they're not just doing it for fun or are they having any rally or any other meeting but it's because they are scared that authorities will come with bulldozers and destroy their properties at night. So they are being very vigilant, protecting their lives and their property. Spokesperson for the community is Kofi Esiedu. The governor boy and his team are coming this dawn or this night to come and demolish the area. That's why you see my people, most of them standing. They are scared. They don't know what to do. Look at, you, I'm sure you've seen the families. Look at where they, some of them are, are lying. And I, I'm sure, it's not fair. We are not saying we are not going to go. At least let's sit down and talk. Give us time so that we leave. We are all Ghanaians. We are all Ghanaians. Look, we don't even have light. They've described our light. We didn't water, they've described our water too. So why, why, how can we live? How can we live now? As he ends his account, we get to know that the police had come to arrest us because the place was marked for demolition. Can I proceed? Proceed. Relax, relax. You know what I want you to do? Just take the card. See, it be the camera. The camera is Take the card. Take the card off. Jojo Kobna, Joy News.
Okay, so these people have been living there spanning a period of three decades. In fact, over three decades. The EMA watch or the entire city watch structures grow from the from one to as many as we see now. Nothing was done. Suddenly there is cholera outbreak. The the, the city decides to move these people from there and gives them a three day notice. How does this help curb the outbreak of cholera in the country? Let's just say we don't have an answer to that now. Why would the AMA boss, who seems to be on an arrest streak over, over the outbreak of cholera, decide to cause the arrest of a pressman who went there to cover a story on suspicion that this young man had come there to fabricate a story? Let's see if we can have a reaction from the Ghana Journalists Association. I'm joined over the telephone by General Secretary for the group, uh, Dave Agbenu. Dave, you're welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you, too, for joining me here, Dave. Really, what are your thoughts about this? How, how does it work that the mayor of Accra decides that I want... But if it should be true, it's, the action is condemnable and it's shameful. Mm, I see. Now, this is not the first time uh, there will be an attack on a press man. We recall that uh, the lady from Delhi Guide, who was also heckled after she covered a court proceeding, also, uh, I'm sorry to say, but we really didn't see any action from the Ghana uh, Journalists Association. What are we going to see in this case, where the AMA uh, boss decides that this crew come in there is not coming there for any good reason and will cause the arrest of the crew? Well, I've said already that uh, I, I can't understand that action. And for the likes of me, I don't understand why a journalist should be attacked mm. while okay. doing D this. D Dave, let's, let's look at it this way. I, I think what I'm trying to ask is, it bothers the DJ that such a thing would happen. Are we going to see you do anything? Yeah, I, 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 if you have been following things that DJ has done in the past, uh, over some attacks on journalists and things, you you will appreciate what we have been doing. Uh, the la the very last time we we took action uh, against an institution for for its members attacking a journalist was uh, I think two years ago when a Ghanaian Times journalist was attacked at the Independence Square. We all saw what uh, uh, happened. Mm. The military had to come back mm. to apologize, place the camera that was damaged during the attack. Mm. Those are a few things. As I speak to you, I'm in Kumasi, and we are going to uh, go into the matter of uh, Bafojan attacking a here in, in Kumasi. So uh, it's not as if journalists or the association does not do anything for journalists or does not uh, jump to the you, defense you of see, journalists. You see, Dave, that's, that's not what, that's not what I, I said, or that's not what I'm mm. insinuating. I just asked the question of what we're mm. going to see happen from the association. But let's move away from that. Let's, let's look at the bigger picture. What does this say of press freedom here in this country? I, I say that we're eroding the gains of press freedom. We have fought so hard to bring press freedom to this country. And the very people who attack the media people are the people who are benefiting from press freedom in this country. Without the, the media, without the press, anything that AMA, for instance, does, will not get into the public domain. How would the AMA board expect to win the war against cholera without the media? I cannot understand. That is why I cannot accept that he would order the arrest of a journalist for trying to do his or her work. Mm. The, 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 what is happening today is shameful. It's shameful because we need everybody on board, including the media, to tell the story, to ensure that the, the message gets to the ordinary person, the very people that he doesn't want the public to know about, so that we come together deal with this corolla uh, outbreak, I will be thinking that instead of attacking the media or attacking journalists, he would rather attack the field in the mm. city. Mm. He would rather 
vents his anger on on the field and not human beings who are helping him to do his work. He announced that he was going to demolish the um, slum in uh, uh, Mensa Guinea. Mm. Without his announcement, no journalists would have moved in there. So it's difficult to understand. Mm. Right, Dave, l let's just say the AMA boss was ignorant in his action. He felt that a, a pressman was uh, a engaging in, 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 a, in a behavior that was contrary to his, his code of conduct as, or, or, or ethics as, as a pressman. What would have been the most appropriate way for uh, this man, Oko Van der Poy, to have gone away? What would have been the, the most appropriate way for him to have gone about The uh, answer action? does not lie in attack or arrest of a journalist. No. There are several ways you can deal with this situation. And it is not and I repeat, it is not by attacking the journalist. Mm. A journalist is only performing his duty on location. If you think otherwise, there are proper means to go through. At least we have the media commission there. We have the uh, Ethics and Disciplinary Council of the GDA. You, you can take it up anywhere you want, but not through arrest, intimidation, harassment, and all that. We have mm. moved beyond that. I think that he, 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 he has done a lot of uh, disservice to AMA in its fight against cholera because uh, I think that he comes from a place where press freedom is respected and the media is seen as partners in development. If he has come to Ghana or he's working in Ghana, I only think that those should be the cardinal principles that he will live by. Without the media, where is he going with this his fight against uh, uh, cholera? Can he win? Mm. I see. Dave, uh, thank you very much for your time here on News Desk. Dave Agbenu yeah. is a general secretary for the Ghana Journalists Association. In a bit, we should get in touch with Jojo Kovner. Jojo Kovner was a reporter on that beat uh, when a member of the crew was arrested. Uh, well, would we, we'll, we'll get in touch with Jojo and bring you that update later on. But uh,